Why do you follow whatever moral code it is that you follow? It's an interesting question, isn't it? Why do you follow that code? Why do you feel that that code is right and just and it's reasonable for you to follow it? Now, you could do what some people do and argue that your moral code is external to yourself. You didn't come up with it. It was handed down to you by some higher authority of some description. Say God, for example, but I'm not, not interested in discussing gods. Just a higher authority. And it is not your position to question or understand your moral code. You are just following the rules. That is you as a mere human being are in no position to do anything other than simply follow the rules. You don't need to understand them. You don't need to feel within yourself that those rules are right or wrong or question those rules or think about them or see how they apply to reality around you. You just have to follow them. Well, in that case, you know, your higher authority could now, how do you know your higher authority isn't batshit insane and fickle and arbitrary and sociopathic or psychopathic or whatever else and simply yanking your chain to see what way you will jump next by following its completely ridiculous moral rules? Most of us don't seem to think that the moral rules that we follow are like that. If you do, good luck to you. I'm not interested in talking to you, honestly. <clears throat> so most of us feel that, yeah, we're following moral rules, and some of us like to think that moral rules weren't created by us human beings ourselves. No, they were handed down to us on high. But they're fair, and they're just... Whatever on high is, whether it's a god or anything else, whatever that is, is fair and just and right. And how do we know that it is fair and just and right? Well... Because it jives with our own innate sense of what's right or wrong. The sense that we human beings are born with. Our moral instincts that we are born with. We are born with, a, with the ability to sense that something's right and something's wrong. With the ability to acquire a moral code based on the culture that we grow up in. That is the abilities that we're born with. And we are then presented with the moral code of the society in which we live. And we adopt the moral code because it feels, by and large, right to do so. Especially if the moral code is supposedly handed down by a higher authority that is unquestionable. That is, that cannot be opposed or um, questioned or taken to account or anything else. A god, for example, a supernatural entity that hands down its moral code from on high and we just have to accept it. But we accept it gladly because it feels right. Okay, so you, during your life, as you grew up within your religious belief system, for example, you decided consciously or none, to accept and adopt the moral code of the culture in which you grew up because it was handed down from a higher authority and it felt right. That is your basis for not rebelling against the moral code, not trying to subvert it or change it, but accepting it. But now you are presented occasionally as every human being is, with moral dilemmas in which you need to make up your mind. And sometimes your moral code asks you to make a decision that you don't feel is right. And how do you handle that when you think that your moral code is handed down by a higher authority? How do you deal with this conflict internal conflict 
of feeling that the decision that you should be making according to the moral code that you've adopted is not the decision that feels right. Now, you could argue that you should go against your instinct, that you should go against your own internal sense of what the right decision would be and make what feels to you like the wrong decision because the moral code says it's the right decision. In other words, you should reject your internal feeling and let the moral code override how you feel. This will lead to people adopting, towing the company line, so to speak, of whatever it is the moral code around them tells them should be the right decision, and trying their best not to think about what the real correct choice would be in such matters. But why would you do such a thing? When it was your own, originally, it was your own innate sense that led you to adopt the moral code because it felt, more or less, like your moral code was right and just. Because you internally felt that it was right or just, you adopted the moral code and made it your own and lived by it because you felt it was right. But now you feel it was wrong. Why are you then still sticking with this moral code? How do you know that the moral code knows better than you do? Your higher authority, you may say that you trust in your higher authority. But why do you do that? Again, you did start trusting in your higher authority because it felt right to you to do so. Now it doesn't feel right anymore. Why are you still trusting it? Why do you not trust your own gut feeling? Or why don't you, what sane people do, and discuss it amongst all of us, try to find among us a solution that we can all feel, or most of us can feel is right or wrong, without, without referring to an higher authority that cannot be challenged. Wouldn't that be the same thing to do?